Okay, this is the video showing the reflection tessellation. So again, we start with the post-it note, draw something that goes from edge to edge. I, again, I like to go corner to corner, make it interesting. Cut that piece off, trying to follow the lines, but knowing that it's okay if it doesn't match up perfectly. Key things to success when doing these tessellations and something that um, students struggle with. They're like, oh no, I didn't cut exactly where it was supposed to be, so now I'm going to make an extra cut. That's going to mess things up. Do this in one single cut, even if it doesn't follow your line perfectly. Because as soon as you start making a cut here, that's a piece that should be left here, or vice versa. One single cut, so we have two shapes and no scraps of paper. All right, for a reflection, remember one of the terms that we first used before we use the word reflection is we use the word flip. And if I was doing transformations with tracing paper, I would have to flip that paper. That's what we're going to do here. First, I am going to translate it because it does need to go over to this side. But don't tape it into place like we did with the translation. Instead, what you need to do, flip that. Do that reflection. I'll do that again. So here's where I cut it. First, we're going to translate it over. So it is going to be on this side. Those signs are going to light up. But before we tape, we have to reflect it. Or in other words, flip it. Tape it into place after you have done that flip. This is where it gets to be tricky because the sticky side of your post-it note is now on the wrong side. tape it into place without leaving any gaps or overlaps. And trim off any excess tape that you might need to trim off. Make sure as you're trimming off the tape that you're not trimming off any of that post-it note. Just trim off the tape. And again, my tape didn't go all the way down to the edge, so I'm going to add a small little piece of tape so that it will. That way those little pieces don't fall off if I cut them. Okay. Not too hard, right? Now we're going to do the same thing. Going across the bottom, go ahead and design whatever you want it to look like. Make that cut. Okay, now that that piece is cut, again, I like to line them up, see that I've separated them, and remember we have to start with a translation. So I'm going to slide it up, but don't tape it here. We're doing reflection. So after I translate it into place, now we have to reflect it or flip it. And that's the way that we tape it. Again, tape it into place. No gaps, no overlaps. And you'll have your shape ready to tessellate. Flip it again. You have to reflect it again. And we'll finish up this one as well by writing our names on it. Writing our period. And this one was done with reflections. So I'm labeling it reflection. Next step is tracing it on your paper. Again, our little piece of masking tape is going to be handy here. That way, as I'm trying to trace it, it stays in place.
Okay, now that you have it traced into place, placing it again is a little bit different than with our translation. Remember, we created this by reflecting, or in other words, we were flipping the page. So if all I do is try and line it up this way, you can see it's not matching up. That's because you can't just translate, we also have to flip it. These are going to line up a little bit more differently than the other ones, but it will line up. So let me show that again. This is how it is created and how it's traced. I'm tempted to just slide it over, but I see that it doesn't match because this is a reflection. So I have to reflect or flip that and then it will line up. So each time I trace, I'm going to have to take my masking tape back to the other side, line it up and trace it into place there. Do that a couple of times. Each time you're going to find that you have to flip it or reflect it again. And again, I might be tempted to just translate that into place, but I see that that's not going to work. So I also have to flip it and reflect it and then it will line up. On the reflection piece, each time you do this, you will have to flip that back and forth, reflecting it each time. Trace it into place. Get this traced into place three times. That might look weird. It might not look like these are all going to match up, but it will. Remember, we've got to flip it. And we can see that it lines up with both of these two pieces. Those are still lining up perfectly. No gaps and no overlaps. Tessellating perfectly. Okay, that's it for this reflection one. We'll continue on with a third video for rotations.